Hi everyone, Paul here from Asperger's From the Inside. I make weekly videos sharing the human side of autism, so make sure you hit subscribe to get the latest content. Um, have you ever had the experience of almost remembering something? Right? Sometimes we call this, you know, having, having a memory or a thought on the tip of your tongue. It's right there, you can almost see it, but you can't quite access it. There's some kind of invisible barrier between the thought in here and actually getting it out and, and remembering the exact name of that place or that person or, or the, the thing that you're trying to remember. Um, I find this all the time. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a function of executive function. Um, memory in general is, is part of executive function and being able to recall the right thing at the right time in the right way and link it to, to, to the other things to be able to actually express it um, is a very handy skill that works most, for me personally, works most of the time, but not all the time. Um, it actually takes a significant amount of um, mental energy to retrieve information if I'm, if I'm really tired. And sometimes that process just does not work. And, and um, I find that it can be a little bit binary. Um, I, I've asked, uh, I asked, I remember asking my neurotypical colleagues how their brain works. Um, and and one, of, one of my colleagues said, you know, my brain is like a suitcase. It doesn't have that many things in it, but it has just enough in it. And I get to work every day and I just hope I remembered to bring everything with me that I needed. Whereas uh, my analogy of my brain is like a filing cabinet where everything is perfectly filed away. And if it has its place, then I can always go back and find it. It might take a little bit of time to kind of remember where I filed it and actually go and pick it up and use it. But if it's filed away, then it works really well and I can find it again. If it's not filed away, then it ends up like a sticky note on the outside and it, like my, my inbox just gets so big and so cluttered that, that I can't find anything and just nothing sticks, nothing goes in and, and therefore nothing is retrievable again. Um, so um, another uh, analogy that, that I find really helpful to explain this phenomenon of, of, of an idea or a memory being just out of reach, even though you know it's there, um, is it's a little bit like fishing. Um, I find my memory is, it's, it's like you, you're typing in a command to a computer, I'm mixing my metaphors, you're typing in a command to a computer or a search engine and you're like, what is it called? Is it called table tennis? Is it called ping pong? Is it called something like, like what did I call it? Where did I file this? And sometimes you type the wrong thing in you use the wrong bait, I'm, I'm committed to mixing my metaphors here, you use the wrong bait on the fishing line and you don't catch anything. And you're, you're, you keep using the same bait that's a little bit off and, and you just don't catch what you're looking for and you keep getting irrelevant things that, that are not very helpful. Um, the other day I was uh, looking for a restaurant that I, that I had been to once and I'm like, oh, it's called, it's called red chili or something called red chili and I looked up red chili and I couldn't find red chili anywhere. It was just nothing. And I, I asked my friends about it. They're like, what are you talking about? It turns out the name was red pepper, not red chili. I'm like, oh, okay. So I was clearly typing in the wrong search term, getting absolutely nothing back, thinking I'm going crazy. Did I actually remember this? Am I way off? Am I, am I close? Am I going to find this if I look a little bit harder? It's, it's really tough because I wasn't using the right bait in my search engine, in my internal search engine. So I was going fishing. How many metaphors can I mix at one time? Um, and, and getting nothing in return. Um, alternatively, if I'm in a flow, it's a little bit like the, the, the chain of monkeys. You know, you pull one and it's connected to another one and it's connected to another one. And when I, when I feel like I'm in a flow, one memory triggers another memory, which triggers another one, which triggers another one and another thought and another thought. Um, you might notice that sometimes I speak fairly quickly. And part of the reason I've realized that I do that is because if I slow down too much, then one thought has a bit of a gap and it's not connected to any other thought. And if I try and go back and like, oh, what was I thinking? 
What was that connected to? It just completely disrupts the flow of the, the stream of consciousness and the flow of thoughts and ideas. And all of a sudden, instead of being articulate and eloquent, I just get blank. Complete blank. Deer in headlights, kind of my mind is just offline at the moment. Um, the most annoying time that this happens is um, in, in a lecture or in a class where I wouldn't I would want to ask a question. So I'd put my hand up and and then the teacher or lecturer or presenter would say, "Yes, you, what's your question?" And I would say, "I forget. Sorry, I have no idea what my question was. I definitely had a question. It was really good. I'm really sorry come back to me in 30 seconds when I've remembered my question because I had a question and it was right there, but then someone else said something or I got distracted. Or in this case, um, when they picked me, all of a sudden everyone looked at me and I, I, I got distracted looking at everyone else and I forgot what I was actually trying to say, which is really frustrating. Um, you might notice that the examples I'm giving are, are quite binary. They're quite black and white. They're kind of either everything's working really well or nothing's working at all. And this is quite common in their autistic experience. Um, we, we don't like to be average or normal or somewhere in the middle. We tend, we tend to like um, extremes, um, even, even within the one person. So with me, for example, my memory is either absolutely on point, perfect all the time, or just, just non-existent. Uh, which is frustrating, which means it's very easy to come across as very competent sometimes and completely useless at other times, which is confusing for people. They're like, why? You were so good yesterday. What's happening today? Are, are you the same person? What's going on? It's, it's hard for people to understand how the same person can have so different performance under under slightly different conditions. Um, so anyway, I might leave it there. Um, hopefully uh, my analogy of the fishing for, I'm trying to think of a good way to combine all my metaphors again, Try for fishing for connected monkeys with a search engine, um, is uh, a good way to understand how memory sometimes works and sometimes doesn't work um, and why I speak to, speak so quickly all the time and sometimes completely lose my train of thought. Um, thanks for watching. Um, I will see you at the same time next week. Um, let us know in the comments, how does your thought process work? Do you, are, is your memory good? Is your memory good for some things and not other things? How, how does it work? Let us know in the comments. It'd be really interesting to hear your um, experience um, and I'll see you all, all again next week. Okay, bye.